one of the issues is the removal of um, the transfer of liability and costs. If you're currently looking at the reuse of a pipeline in the North Sea, there is no business case for CO2 transport storage as yet. The ETS price is too low, and prospective projects aren't exactly lining up just yet. So if you do a normal cost-based assessment, you will say the sensible thing is to do is to decommission this asset, and you won't think twice about it. That needs to change. We need to have a slightly long-term vision. I know I've been working with climate change for almost the last 10 years. You can't produce an, an outcome to climate change that doesn't involve CCS. Every assessment with IPCC, uh, with the EU long-term strategy, and every assessment done by the Committee for Climate Change shows that CCS is critical. So if we just need to have a bit of a slightly longer-term thought about the infrastructure we have and how we can repurpose that infrastructure. So we need to think slightly beyond our own noses when it comes to this decommissioning that we're currently living through right now. Uh, as I mentioned, decommissioning is happening in the UK first, but it will also spread to Norway and, and the Netherlands. The UK is slightly ahead in this, so it's up to the UK to show how we can start preserving this critical infrastructure, and others will follow. You can't wait for other people to invent this for you, because you're at the cutting edge. 